touch the way I feel The way I feel I'm standing still So, like I promised you guys that the next video was going to be a flare pan so that's what we're going to be making we're using this white uh it's like more like a creamy color and as you can see it has like um a straight pattern going down the fabric it is stretchy and i'm going to be using this is the fabric i'm going to be using to make this uh flare pan set the width of my fabric is two yards so i'm going to be using the two yards for the pants and no i think it's two and a half yards sorry i'm going to be using that for the pants and top you're going to need um skinny high-waisted jeans or if you want your pants to be a low low uh low waist then you can just use a regular low waist skinny jeans you're also going to need some pads and paper some what is this? how do you say this pen or marker pins and your sewing machine so let's get started with the pattern I already placed my pants in place and like we always do you're just going to trace out the outline of the shape that you see So this is what you should have after you've uh, cut out your piece. So now I'm going to show you guys how to achieve the flare effect. So I'm going to mark where I want my pants to start flaring down. And that is just right below my knee. And that's mine is going to be 16 inches. So you're going to mark from like the, <coughs> the inseam down. That's going to be 16 inches. So I'm going to put a mark here. I want the, the flare to start and I'm just going to draw a straight line. Yeah. So now we're going to slip that open. So I'm going to draw three, I'm going to divide that into three pieces. So you should have this and then you want to slit those pieces open. So after you slip these three pieces like this, so you can see you cannot evenly spread it. So to make that easy, we're going to slit the two side pieces. We're just going to cut it straight here, but you're not going to cut it all the way. You're just going to leave a small piece left so you can like spread it. So you see right now, this is easy to spread. And you can repeat the same step for the other side okay guys so this is what you should have after you've placed your pattern on another paper and as I told you the distance I spread them 10 inches on both sides so right now I have another like it's 20 inches wider and then you just want to go ahead and cut out this shape again So right now your pattern for your flare pants is done and then you just want to go ahead and cut this out of your fabric so you're going to cut put your fabric fold your fabric on fold place this out and cut out two pieces for the pants I went ahead and cut the pen pieces I had to cut it off camera because my table is not wide enough to show you what I was doing and I cut out four pieces I couldn't like cut it when the fabric was on fold. it was way too difficult so I had to cut out um, four pieces instead of cutting two fold pieces if that makes sense so what you want to do after cutting your pieces is you're going to go ahead and sew it from here all the way down if you're wondering it's, it's the flare piece here so you're going to sew it from there all the way till there 
and you're also going to sew it from the side seam from there all the way to there. I have the two pieces and now we're going to attach them to create the pants. So like we normally do, make sure one is turned to the right side and one is turned to the wrong side. And you're going to put the one that is on the right side inside the one on the wrong side. And you're just going to match the crushes together. So this is the crush area. You're going to take the other crush, pin it together. And you're going to start pinning. you got finished pinning the two crushes together you just want to go ahead and sew it all the way around our pants is practically done man look at it and I just tried it on and it looks so beautiful I want to cry like I'm gonna make so much of these pants like so many I'm gonna make them in different prints this year so basically since the fabric is super stretchy I don't need to add nothing like I can just put it on like this so please if you want things to be like easy for you use a stretchy fabric so right now the only step that is left is hemming so I'm just going to go fold this waist in and I'm going to go hem it I'm going to hem it with a zigzag stitch so it gives me even more room to and third the pants so you're gonna go ahead and hem your waist at this point and you're also going to go ahead and hem the bottom the bottom part of your uh, flare as well so you can see I already like placed the top in um, on the fold and my fabric is also on the fold so you just want to go ahead and cut it out I'm gonna cut mine wider than than the, the top itself because this top of mine is really tight so I'm gonna cut mine um, wider you can see these are the two pieces the front and the back so I think I'm gonna make the front a V neck line instead of a round neckline because you know that's what I do <laughs> I change my mind every two seconds I'm gonna cut a v-shape coming down like so good and when you open it you have a v-shaped neck so after you pin the front and back piece together you're gonna go sew it on the shoulders and you're gonna sew it on the side so I told you guys we're going to be leaving like an opening on the side so as you can see I pinned it to this position and I'm going to sew it up to there leaving this piece open so you can determine how long you want your side slits to be and no matter so Right now I'm going to finish the neckline. Remember what we normally do? I already cut a piece which I'm going to attach to the entire neckline. And we're going to sew it the way we did the other one, if you remember. So we can start like from somewhere. Yeah, make sure it's right sides. And you're just gonna pin the entire piece to the neckline. Now you can start finishing the facing. So like what we always do, you just fold this in and you fold it back. And you pin this. After you've done that, this is what you should have, and then you just want to go ahead and sew it all the way around again, and your neckline is done. So <clears throat> that's what you're going to use to hem the neckline. I'm not going to be adding a facing to the armhole because I don't think it's needed. So I'm going to do a road hem for the armhole, and I'm also going to do make this point. I'm going to hem the side seam. I'm going to fold it and fold it again and I'm going to sew it all the way down 
and I'm also going to repeat the same step for the bottom part of the dress fold it and sew it all the way down and you're going to use that with a zigzag stitch The way I feel The way I feel I'm standing still Look at, look at like breeze 